Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Audio bandwidth for the Daily Gizwiz is provided by Winamp. Subscribe to the Daily Gizwiz and all your favorite podcasts with the ultimate media player. Download it for free at winamp.com. Video bandwidth for the Daily Gizwiz is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. It's time for the Daily Gizwiz with Mads Maddest writer Dick D. Bartello. This is episode 1129 for Thursday, July 8th, 2010. Liquid Image 310 Dive Video Mask. This episode is brought to you by Carbonite. Backing up the files on your PC or Mac is safe and easy with Carbonite. For a free trial plus two free months with purchase, go to Carbonite.com. Offer code Gizwiz. Now get ready for Dick. It's Thursday on the Daily Gizwiz. Time to rock and roll. Does the Gizwiz need another crappy theme? Yes, indeed. It's Thursday. The Gizwiz needs. It's Thursday. Another crappy theme. It's Thursday. The Gizwiz needs. Not this way to get a Thursday going on the Whoa, Daily Gizwiz. Leo has broken his ball more than once, bouncing to that theme. You know, I am contractually uh, prevented from sitting on the ball. I made that part of my, uh, when I signed up with Twit, that I, yeah, I was wanted needed. not to have to sit on the ball or he wouldn't allow you to sit on the ball? No, I, I wanted not to have to. It's too much too dangerous. Uh, the, I don't the, the know whole, how he does that for so many hours. I mean, I know it's supposed to be good for your back and all of that, but I've seen him fall off that ball more than once, and the health plan doesn't cover that. I guess not. I guess not. Well, it's better than when he started and used a bowling ball. I said, Leo, that's, it's, it's, he said, it is uncomfortable. I said, they make them bigger and inflated. He said, oh, uh, let me try some. All right, so. The it interesting thing about that bowling ball, though, is instead of the three holes for the fingers, it just had two nicely uh, developed, you know, Form-fitted yeah. bun uh, slots, yeah. divots, Div bun divots, <laughs> bun divots. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so on our Thursday, I, I am unfamiliar with the uh, the rock and roll Thursday trend. What do we usually What do we usually see on the Gizwiz on a Thursday? Oh, on a Thursday, it's just a normal gadget. But I'm going to duck out of frame for a minute and put it on, and then you guess what it is. I put just it on. So we have some sort of wearable gadgets. Wearable, and yes, exactly. This is exciting. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering, if you just picked up on Thursday and you're wondering, why does Leo have a beard and look so much different? Uh, it's because he's actually on, uh, on, on assignment at Foo Camp while we're recording Gizwiz this time. So uh, I'm filling in for him. Tom Merritt here, in case you don't know. Newest, well, not the newest Twit employee anymore. Sarah Lane kind of ducked in right behind me. Um, so wow, this is a, this is a wardrobe change. I don't, is that a first for the Daily Gizwiz? It is a first. It is a first. You know what? It, I've gotten so many emails this week about people who are thrilled to be able to actually be watching the Daily Gizwiz. Um, so th th they're a little ill-fitting because I have the headphone cable and, and whatnot on this. But these are pretty neat. This is. I'm going to take them off and. <laughs> My headphone back on in a second so I can point to different things. Okay, what? there we go. And also, I couldn't wear my glasses under there. Oh, yeah. So what these are, it, it, the company's called Liquid Image. Hmm. Ah, okay. I think I've heard of these folks before. I've seen them at CES, I believe. Yes, exac exactly, exactly. Well, this is the new version. They started about two years ago with a, um, a version that went down 15 feet and could shoot photos. So this is one of the newer ones. Uh, this can go down to 65 feet. Um, it shoots, oh, and it, it's an interesting thing because um, I was looking on the box and it says down to 33 feet. And 
I called up and I said, you know, you told me 65 feet and the box says 33 feet. And she said, oh, I'm sorry. We printed the boxes before the testing was done. And it turns out that they are guaranteed and good up to 65 feet. So feel free to use them uh, down to that depth. They shoot a 720 by 1080 uh, video. Uh, so high def video, video, that's good. Yeah, yeah. And there's a little, uh, let's see, I'll turn around, I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. But in, uh, oh good, okay, that, that's good. And, and so obviously there's no viewfinder to look through. So you line up what your shot is by the little crosshairs on the actual goggles. Then inside the goggle, there are two of our friends, the LEDs. Aha. Uh -huh. And aha. Uh -huh. And then just by clicking, and I forget which is which, but you click it once, I don't have to look in the book. When it lights up blue, I think the blue is that you're shooting, you're in the snapshot mode, and that when the red lights up, you're in the video mode. But either way... Now you you said 720 by 480. I misunderstood yes. you. So it's, it's not HD. It's just, it's just decent it's, VGA. It's exactly, exactly. They are coming out with an, with an HD model uh, more toward the end of the summer. Oh, good to know. Um, takes a, a micro SD card. It, it has a tiny bit of built-in memory. I forgot what it, I'm going to look here. Oh, yeah, 16 megabytes of, of memory. Yeah, at least you could take a couple of snapshots if you forget to put the card in. Um, runs on two AAA batteries. Now, it has uh, headphones on it, too? Uh, no, no, but you oh, okay. can actually attach lights, too. You can buy optional lights. Uh, you mean the headphones that I was wearing? All right, I thought uh, I thought maybe those were attached before. So this is this is a set of scuba goggles essentially with a camera built into it. With a yes, with a video and a still camera built in and memory and um, and LED attachments add, that you can add later. Say again. You LED attachments that you can add later for external light. Yeah, uh, well, you can add, you can add LED lights to the side. Now I, uh -huh. I tend to use everything that I talk about, but. I'm not getting in the Hudson River with these. You can call me crazy, but um, I went in the Hudson River just once. <laughs> that was plenty. Uh, I took a scuba course a million years ago when you needed to go down 30 feet and do something to get a little card so that you were certified to rent scuba equipment. And the Hudson River is zero visibility at about three feet. I, I'm very glad to hear that you were in the Hudson River for a scuba course and not uh, in the East River for some <laughs> other reason or with some kinds of shoes on. Yeah, no, no, exactly. Yeah, the Hudson is, uh, the Hudson is not for that. The East River is for that. Yeah. The Hudson is more for beauty and uh, scaring yourself by going under the water. <laughs> I've gone under my boat a few times, but it's not the most. It's, it's better than it was. You used to jump in the river and instantly it was nighttime. Now you can see three or four feet underwater, which is a big improvement. Now you're scuba certified then, right? Uh, yes, but I've not been diving in a long time. Uh, this is not good scuba. You know, out your way, did you dive? Actually, you... I do snorkeling. I've never, uh, I've never bothered, and, and I have no excuse because I can go get certified in lots of acceptable places around California, uh, or, or you know, flying to Hawaii is not that far from here. But I just haven't done it. Uh, but if I, if I even for snorkeling, this something like this uh, would come in really handy uh, because otherwise you got to get those external cameras with the case around them, and they're usually film these days. They have a few digital versions. And you've got to tie it around your wrist and remember to pick it up. But with this thing, I, how long do you think you can go? How much, how much uh, video can you record at a, at a go? Uh, you know what? It, it would really depend on what memory card you put in it. You can put oh, in okay, up, to 16, yeah. up to 16 gigabytes. And since it's not shooting at, at really high def uh, resolution, my guess is that you could get a couple of... You could, you have a couple, you could be chased by many sharks and get that all on camera. You can lead them video. on quite a long merry chase. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Although you wouldn't see much of the sharks because you'd probably be swimming in the other direction. Th that's true. That's true. It would take a brave man to to turn around and uh, uh, film what's coming toward you. No, That'd you're right. It's, it's a great thing. The other thing is 
you go scuba diving three three days in a row and nothing happens and the fourth day you leave your camera home and then that's when the the rainbow fish goes by in a school so this way you need a scuba mask anyway and this one's rather nicely styled it feels good it feels good on dry land um so you might as well have a camera and a video camera with you when you're in the water with no encumbrances now I've had to uh, I've had to lay down money for my scuba certification now and for flying to Hawaii. Uh, so how much is this going to set me back on top? This of guy all that? is uh, it's um, hundred and fifty bucks. However, this is something to think about. Is the people at Liquid Image said that they have started a thriving business with hotels and vacation areas renting them you know buying 20 or 30 of them and that's that's an even better thing to do first of all you could see if you like it or not and second of all if you're only going to go scuba diving once or twice a year you might just rent one and uh do it even cheaper. well yeah there you, so go. you just there bring you along go. your own sd card and pop it in and then you've exactly. got the video and you don't have to bother with you know carrying this thing around packing it in your luggage and dealing with it just go to snorkel bobs or or whatever and and rent it with A your snorkel gear jack. I like that. snorkel bobs snorkel doesn't jack. have them anymore oh, it's not. <laughs> uh, snorkel jack bought out snorkel bob it's i oh it's now snorkel job yes it is snorkel job <laughs> right <laughs> but forgot about the merger Yes, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, excellent. Uh, any anything else Ed, Ed, that we missed on the the goggles before we move on? Yeah, you can't shave with them. You can't. That that's one one item this week that you cannot shave with them. Well, you could shave you with them. You cannot shave with this. Yeah. You could burn you your hair off with the LED light. You cannot. You could. You could just go down. And have a shark nibble at your beard. That's as close as you can get. And that's good video, too. You could probably sell that to the Discovery Channel. So yeah, it pays for amazing, itself. Amazing, amazing stuff. Got a lot of hits on YouTube. I'll lend it to you. If you want to go down and have a shark nibble on your beard, I will lend you this. <laughs> I'll think about that. I'll, I'll, I'll run that by my legal advisor, Phil, and see, see what he has to say. Because <laughs> I would like to do that. But I, I'm not sure if that violates some terms of my contract. You have some contract with uh, Leo. It's ah. oh, it's it's seriously, it's like this, it's, you know, the thousand pages. Uh, oh yeah, he, he's he's that way. Uh, he's that way. Print. Yeah, every possible thing you could think of is covered. <laughs> well, it, 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 you might think that taunting a shark into following you so you can get video would be disastrous, but I can tell you one thing that's more disastrous, Dick. Yes. Losing all of your be, data. Tom? Losing all of your <gasps> data because you didn't back up and a shark-like virus took out your hard drive. So protect yourself with Carbonite. They are the sponsors of today's Daily Giz Whiz. Uh, these, these unexpected computer disasters happen all the time. I, I don't know the exact stats, but I imagine one is happening to somebody right now somewhere. And hopefully they have backed up. And hopefully they've redundantly backed up. Uh, do it offline and do it online. And for doing it online, uh, Carbonite is an excellent choice. Carbonite helps protect all those valuable files. If you're worried about being safe, you can encrypt it end to end. They're encrypted before they leave your computer for maximum security. Easy to use. You just install the uh, the Carbonite software and let it do its thing. It's automatic. Backs up your files whenever you're connected to the internet. You don't have to go in and push a button. You don't have to schedule it. It just keeps it up to date so you always have the freshest backup. And then you can get your files back from anywhere. In fact, you can even check in on files off your uh, iPhone or BlackBerry. They have free apps for that as well. So if you want to back something up, and you should want to back up your data if you value it at all. Uh, you can get it back from Carbonite. Here's what you do. Unlimited backup is $55 a year. That's just 15 cents a day. So try it for free. Go to Carbonite.com. Enter the offer code GIZWIZ. And if you decide to buy the service after the trial, you'll get two months free with that offer code. It's G-I-Z-W-I-Z. -I -I Be sure to sign up for the free trial from the homepage to get the two months free and you don't need a credit card. So if you're like, I don't want to sign up for this trial. I got to give them all my info. No, you don't. You don't have to give them a credit card. Try the free trial and don't forget the offer code gizwiz at carbonite.com.
Okie dokie. I guess after the ad, it means it's time for some letters. Hmm? You got this down, Tom. You really have this down pat. By the time we're done this week, I will be acceptable at this job. I think that is a long way away. <laughs> <laughs> we all have goals uh, and dreams, though. Oh, yes. Yeah. So that's what will keep you going is your dreams. Uh, that's you'll right. always have those. You may, you may not have a job, but you'll <laughs> always have your dreams. Um. <laughs> Ken McLean writes, I've been watching the Daily Gizwiz for the past couple of weeks on my iPod. I picture Dick as being much bigger. I'm also worried that Leo should have kept his previous job. He only changes his shirt once a week. Wait a minute. The same is true for you, Dick. Should I email Time Warner and get them to increase Mad Magazine to a weekly... Love the show, and now I love the video. Keep up the great work, Ken. And, and you know, Tom, I wrote him back a very short email, but in what I thought was making a joke, I think it came up with a multi-million dollar idea, and I'll let you in on it. Really? All right, lay it on me. A green screen shirt. So podcast is a green shirt, green screen shirt in so green we do screen five green. shows in a row. They just project a different pattern on the show. That's freaking brilliant. Every day. I have week. to say fish. Yeah. Sharks. It would be the coolest shirts anyone's ever seen because it'd be like Harry Potter full motion patterns. There you go. There you go. Of course, the one problem is that you, now that I think of it, you can see a little of my shirt. We're seeing none of your shirt, so it might be a waste on you. Oh, there well, it is. A little bit of your shirt. Yeah, you know, this is, this is my shirt, if you're interested. It's brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And actually, uh, I, I don't know if people have noticed that, but this week, uh, we both have changed our shirts every day just into an identically colored shirt. Yeah. That's, I always... I mean, because it's unhygienic. I, you know, I can't do five things in a row just sitting here and pretending it's a different day of the week. So by physically taking off one black shirt and having Jeeves give me a freshly pressed, laundered black shirt that I change into, I, I just, it somehow makes me feel like it's a new day, a new dawn, something a, like that. Yeah. It makes me want to sing now. I just can't remember really? the next words. Yeah. <laughs> you can't sing, can you, or can you? Well, that's debatable. It depends on whether you're me listening to myself or someone else having to be subjected to listening to me. Oh, okay. But okay. Depend it depends, depends on I'll where you I'll put sing. that down as a non-singer. <laughs> uh, that's probably wise. No, I, I, you know what? I had another idea while you were reading that letter that I yes, think you're yes, going yes. to like. Uh, yes. Tell me, tell me how this strikes you. Okay, an LED shirt <gasps> that is programmable with different patterns. Oh, I'm buying it. Does Think Geek have it, or can you invent it by next week? We need Saturday? to. We need to get to work on it. I will have the uh, the the Twit Army uh, start cracking away at it. Well, not like I can order them, but if they would, please, someone start cracking away. I, mean, at I have it. the Wi-Fi shirt. You know about the Wi-Fi shirt, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the yeah, detector yeah, shirt. Think, yeah. think Geek makes a Wi-Fi shirt that I've had know. the um uh what's the 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 uh the levels? What's that called? Oh, uh, the uh, graphic equalizer shirt. Yeah, I have graphic that. equalizer shirt. I've had, yeah. I've given one of those away actually. Yeah, and uh, the guitar shirt. I have that. But I'm thinking but, of something that's almost Lawrence Welk like. In its, you know, coverage of LEDs. Totally LED, like LEDs. Yeah. yeah. I like it. I li And it would be very inexpensive to make. That's the <laughs> good thing about it. Yes. Yeah. You can sell it for 2 or $3. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And convenient to wear. Uh, mm -hmm. You could project stock prices, headlines. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's better than my. I mean, my idea was good. No, I but think your I idea think they're is I think they're sounding. I think you could alternate. I think you could do the green screen shirt one week and then do the LED shirt the next week, you know, and kind of bounce back and forth because you could, get different you resolutions could. in the different But then shirt. it would be depressing if someone found a way to project LEDs on the green screen and did mm -hmm. it for $10 when we spent $50,000 to make the one. <laughs> right. Or we could do green LEDs and use that as the green screen. Now you're talking. Now you're talking. I don't know what you're talking, but you are talking. Now we're cooking with gas. <laughs> yeah, something. I smell something. <laughs> it smells like eggs. Yeah. Some kind of eggs. All right. Well, uh, I'm almost sad. We're almost out of uh, Daily Gizwiz shows this week. This has been fun doing it with you this week. Well, wait a minute. Hang on. We haven't done Friday yet. All right. No, we got one more. So I'm going, to, sa we have I'm going to savor it. Savor it. Savor it. All right, so uh, don't don't forget, folks. There is one more: the gadget warehouse. I have not yet done the gadget warehouse. I am a little bit frightened of the gadget warehouse, but it will happen tomorrow on Friday, and I'll will be you? here. D A I L Y. It's own gravy. Yeah.